Thanks for the presentation. So this is okay. Well, I'm presenting this case on behalf of all the Focus Ultrasound team from HM Cinac in Madrid. Well, first, to give some context to the case, just remember that uh, tremor could be a major source of disability in multiple sclerosis patients, and which frequency of this complication could be up to 50% of patients, and in some cases, uh, becoming medically refractory. Well, thalamic DBS and uh, uh, thalamotomy ablation with radiofrequency have shown already to provide sustained benefit in this uh, multiple sclerosis tremor associated patients and well, we all know that uh, uh, focus ultrasound thalamotomy is already approved by FDA for essential tremor where uh, it's been also uh, shown some effectiveness in other kind of tremors and well in an already damaged brain as in multiple sclerosis the uh, reduced surgical risk given by the focus ultrasound approach uh, could be of uh, great interest. So the patient is a 20-year-old uh, female with the typical white matter lesions, uh, hyperintensities, including the thousand fingers, consistent with a multiple sclerosis uh, diagnosed from uh, more than 10 years ago. Well, we see in this video that the patient has at baseline a, a severe tremor in the right hand affecting address and mainly postural and action tremor. Even at first sight, the tremor could be a little bizarre. Uh, I show you later this uh, electromyography recording consistent with oscillatory flexure extension activities of distal um, right uh, arm uh, mus muscles with a peak of frequency at four hertz. This tremor was highly disabling for the patient in his daily living activities. And while the treatment, after a first uh, 58 uh, ablative sonication, tremor arrested, while associating a, a mild uh, fascial asymmetry and uh, slurring speed, so we corrected the target medially to avoid further impact in internal capsule. We can see that at six months, the uh, benefit was sustained with a, a dramatic uh, decrease in the clinical retina score for tremor, also in the hand tremor score from up to 80% and uh, in the uh, disability uh, score too. And this benefit was sustained in this last follow-up up to one year, while the patient still um, ha hasn't any tremor, as you may see both in postural and action, and even in the writing and the drawing spirals, as video is gonna uh, show. So after thalamotomy, the patient was able to use his right hand normally for the daily living activities. And uh, well, about the side effects, uh, this uh, facial palsy recover uh, fully, and the dysarthria uh, was uh, improving over the follow-up, uh, and at one year, it was just a minimal non-disabling dysarthria. We can see the uh, striking difference between the baseline and this one-year follow-up in the patient from the spirals and also from writing. In the video speaks from itself. Well, this is the trauma recording with this uh, oscillatory activity and this um, uh, four hertz uh, frequency and the six month follow up, the a new EMG recording showed that the tremor has disappeared. And the lesion in the first MRI and the acute MRI was, has this edema uh, encroaching the retinal capsule, and as expected, in the follow-up MRI, also the size of the lesion and the edema has decreased um, uh, importantly. So, to sum up, to our knowledge, this is the first report of a uh, multiple sclerosis tremor treated with uh, focus ultrasound thalamotomy. 
this supposes a new therapeutic option for this patient. Uh, and just to stress that compared to our experience in PD and essential trauma patients, the recovery from side effects in multiple sclerosis patients uh, seems to be as lower. That would be explained because of the decreased network efficiency in the uh, brain of multiple sclerosis patients. And this prompts to be especially careful when selecting these patients and monitoring their treatment. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, our question is, uh, uh, how do you diagnose uh, a tremor is uh, multiple sclerosis associated? Well, it's a good question. The patient was already diagnosed from 10 years ago of multiple sclerosis, and I think it was five years ago after an outbreak with a new lesion that was placed, I think, in the um, trunk encephalus that she develops this highly disabled tremor. So without any um, familiar record of essential tremor and a disease and a new lesion and this temporary association between the outbreak and the develop of tremor, the most um, uh, reasonable source of the tremor is to be associated with multiple sclerosis, which is already described uh, previously. Joe Frank, NIH. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the follow-up of this patient during the year? Did they have any more exacerbations, any more gadolinium enhancing lesions following this treatment? Because you're dumping an awful lot of protein into the brain that could stimulate an immune response. So what treatment was the person on for multiple sclerosis? Did it require, did there, was there any exacerbations after the le after the lesion during the, during the year, do they need steroids or do they need to up their dose of whatever drug they were on? Okay, good, good question. So she was on beta interferon treatment for years and uh, in this st current state before treatment, before thalamotomy of disease-free activity without outbreaks or new lesions in MRI. And during the follow-up after the lesion, she didn't develop new lesions besides the obviously thalamotomy lesion. And the uh, scale for the multiple sclerosis disability, the EDSS, remain without changes. So, so far, we think we didn't make her to worse about this baseline uh, disease, if that's the question. <laughs>